Hi, this is Mary from Teacher's Pet Dog Training. Today I'd like to talk to you about tugging with your puppy. There are some people who believe that you shouldn't play tug with your pup, or if you do, you should always win the game of tug. But on the contrary, tug is a very instinctual game dogs play with each other, and we can use this to our advantage by using tug as a reward for doing something right. We want our puppy to be successful when playing tug with us to increase their motivation and drive to play the game. If the game of, of tug is too harsh, or if it's too difficult for the puppy to get the tug or win the tug, then the motivation to play diminishes quickly. There are some basic rules, however, that we need to eventually teach our puppy to use tug as a reward system. In this video, I'm working with Deacon, an 11-week-old lab, and this is our first interaction with Tug. So whenever like they're chewing, like you said, on you parts, body parts or whatever, yeah. <laughs> then I just have another one and I just make this one become more exciting. And now he gives that one up. So instead of me fighting to, to have uh, a toy that he might have, he may not want to give it up or yeah. whatever, or he's nibbling on something else, he's nibbling on my sleeve or something, then I give, I show him this instead. Okay. So everything is always a trade. Got it. I'm not taking it, I'm not saying that this is bad because I know you're teasing and this is this feels good and it's fun and right. it's engaging. So I'm simply going to make this thing die. I'm going to make this thing way more exciting. Oh, look at that. And at I some point, one. you see how he releases that. So I put way more energy and fun into this part of it. Okay. Now you'll notice too that I'm not like swinging around right. because they're going to teeth between four and six months. I don't want the process of tugging to become painful. Okay. And then some dogs will go, tug anymore. Yeah. And tugging is a great reward system. Sure. So food, we use food for right. high rate of reinforcement. But we also like to be able to use toys and tugs for interaction and play. So here, we just do it like gently. I call it sort of a silky tug. Yeah. Where you're tugging, but it's not, you can see, He's getting the, the feel of being able to come with me and a little bit of tug and there's a little bit of interaction. And so he's having fun and he's staying fit with me. And then if I want to switch it out, I just make this more exciting and boom, right away he gets access to that one. And then we have a little bit of a fun tugging together with this. But again, it's not a tug where we're creating any problems. I think that's the biggest thing is when people tug me, it's Right. Is swinging around and then yeah, and then it's and then we sort of we sort of spoil the art of tugging and so at some point what's going to happen is when we're playing with our dogs we want to get them to play with energy we want to get them to bring the item back to us right. and we want to get them to release the item so that they can re-engage the item. Got it. So what I do with puppies we start that process but we don't put too many rules on it. So this one I'm going to make disappear for a second now that I've re-engaged him on this. And as we're playing, we let him have it, and I take the ends of it, we're tugging, we're tugging, we're tugging, and I say, out, and I wait. The moment he releases it, I'm going to say yes and get it back to him. Yes! But I make it move away. Okay. And so it's like, there's an old saying, there's no suicide rabbits. The rabbit will never think Okay. That's going to take you away. Right. Dogs are going to, they're going to want to go to something that's moving away. Sure. So in our legal play, when we play tug, tugging, playing, playing, out. Yes. <laughs> But what's really important is when I do this and I say the word out, I make the item die. If I'm saying... And that's just immobilizing? Yeah, so you just, you have to be patient. If he, if he gets you, don't respond to that. Because right. that, he's just, he doesn't get it. He's, we're trying to get him to release the item, but he's never done this before. This right. is brand new for him. So don't respond if he does get you a little bit. Keep it immobilized. The second he releases it, yes! And then he gets back. So he gets it again. The other thing is, when we're tugging, these are little things, but they matter. We don't want to tug where we have it pulled up here in his head, his leg. Right. Because that's uncomfortable for him. And that won't be something that he wants to play with us then. So when we're tugging and we're playing with him, 
we play, we're moving backwards, we're playing gently, right? He's kind of all right, he's kind of winning, he's kind of having fun with it. We're keeping it soft and gentle. Then we can say out. Yes. As soon as he releases it, we get to back in, but not too many rolls, right? We I don't want to say out once. Just say it one time, out. We're going to mobilize the toy. Yes! So I don't make a big deal out of it, but I make it very clear that the toy is no longer moving anymore. Right. So we're playing, playing, out! Yes! <laughs> Smart boy. are teething between the ages of four and six months. So sometimes it's best to put the tug away on the back burner for a while while they're going through that teething period so that they don't associate tugging with a negative or painful experience. The other little tip I'd like to share with you is the type of tug you use really matters. There are many different types of tugs out there, but the one that I'm using in the video is actually a soft fleece uh, tug toy. And these are very comfortable for puppies to chew on. They don't hurt, they're very soft, uh, so that's really important. And these are just some examples of ones that have a real soft uh, surface that they can chew on, a little bit of flexibility, and again, they're very puppy friendly. Later on, you may want to go to something that's more leather-like, but this again would be for more of an adult dog or a, do a dog that's all done teething and is now starting to be introduced to maybe some leather pieces. I hope these tips help. So go out there and grab yourself a couple of soft tugs. Your puppy, your positive, soft, gentle energy, your dogs will love you for it.